ground barley. Nothing's changed, it's still noisy. Humid. <laughs> Hot. Um, a lot quieter than last time. No. Nah. Two shops are empty. Not yeah. as many people. Yeah, so anyway. I've only got more to tell. I'll, uh, I'll keep you updated. Okay, bye. Here we are, just a quiet moment. I'm just sitting by the pool. Um, yeah, it was a pretty good trip actually. Um, all after all the the fights and all the bullshit we had out with Jetstar and losing luggage and just being assholes. No, it ended up being quite a good trip. Um, yeah, so we are here in Bali. Nothing much changed. Uh, a lot less people around. Bin tang still available. Um, don't buy it on the beach, it cost me six bucks. If you buy it out here, it's about three dollars fifty, which is about the going rate. <sighs> boy oh boy, it's been a journey. It's been a day. Um, yeah, so we've been on the go since about four o'clock this morning. It's now local time. Um, whatever it is. Uh, I can't see. About four o'clock in the afternoon, so anyway, cheers. More beers and I'll catch you when I catch you. Right, bye. Actually, I forgot to tell you a funny story. When we landed in, in Kuta, um, over there, I said to Jude, I said, look, we're going to need some cash, so go and get about $200, Aussie, Aussie bucks. I uh, said, so go and get that out, and um, yeah, we'll, we'll be right then. Um, anyway, we went to the ATM and we thought we got $200 Aussie, but because we're not used to the money, uh, we actually got 20 bucks uh, Indonesian. Um, so when we got in the cab, we got the cab from the airport to here, at the, the Kuta. And when we got here, it come to, um, um, what was it? Uh, Eighteen dollars. So we'd already got the, the twenty bucks out, and I gave it to the cabbie, and then he's there. Oh no 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 no! Not enough! Not enough! It's hundred eighty thousand. Oh, what the f? Anyway, he, um, he, he, I showed him the money that I had, and he goes, "Oh, that 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 that," and I thought he'd rip me off. I really did. I thought he took a hundred and eighty bucks, Aussie Aussie bucks. All he took was eight hundred fucking dollars, and <laughs> he said, "Oh, you, you got tip for me." I had some Indonesian money, and I gave him a thousand, which is one lousy effing cent. Anyway, I gave him <laughs> this tip for one cent. Anyway, he looks at me and he spits on the ground, gets in the cab, and drives off. And I thought, "Oh, one name grateful bastard." I thought I gave him like you know, a dollar. <laughs> Now it was one cent, and he drives off. I thought, oh, geez, you ripped me off for a, for a hundred and eighty dollars, and now now you're getting jacked off because uh, I gave you one cent. I thought you bastard. Anyway, it wasn't until later when I went down to the ATM and I said to Jude, I said, oh, we're, we're going to get some more money. Anyway, uh, we went to the ATM. And we checked the, the what we drew, drew out. We actually drawn out twenty dollars Australian. And I went, oh, shit. Well, sucks to be the cabbie, you got a one cent tip. <laughs> anyway, that, that's the problem when, when you're traveling, is getting the conversion rates of new currency around. But anyway, all good. Anyway, he got his one cent tip and it cost me 18 bucks to drive from, which I still thought was expensive anyway. Anyway, travelers, um, don't travel with me, don't travel with my conversion rates and don't give cabbies a one cent tip if you don't want to be spat on the ground. Okay, I'll catch you later. Bye.